Hey everybody. You know, we only have seven acres and really in the grand scheme of things, that's not much land, but still we surprise ourselves. We'll walk someplace and out of nowhere, we'll find a new oak tree with all sorts of acorns down at the bottom of the tree. So we have found another live oak that seemed to have a pretty good harvest, a pretty good crop this year. Now, we like to go around and feed the pigs things from around the property. We like to cut down any greenery that we can find, any shrubs and things like that that we think that they would enjoy. Uh, we also do buy alfalfa and feed them alfalfa, uh, but these nuts, they just love the acorns. So uh, this is probably the most we've ever been able to harvest before. I had Brandon, Tracy, and Kaylin out there helping me with this. And this is the first time I've seen any acorns off of this live oak, so it's kind of an exciting thing. But uh, if we can get their attention here, we can get you a little update on what's going on with the pigs. And let you see them. So there's Mama Juan. Oh, she's going to start making noise and calling everybody over here. I think we got about, what would you say that is? Maybe a good quart worth of acorns off of this tree? Uh, so I'm pretty excited. We only we spent less than 10 minutes looking around. Of course, this is off in the woods, so it was all hand pick. And there's Mama Number Two. She's looking bigger every day, uh, but she hasn't shown any sign of uh, her milk line filling out or anything. So we don't know what's really going on with her. And the little bits they are um, filling out pretty well and. Uh, all but weaned. They still seem to be taking a little bit off of mom, uh, but not much at all. So anyway, uh, that's one of the things that we do to kind of stretch the feed and use some of the resources off of our property to feed the pigs. So you remember going back, we had a lot of problems with trying to keep the pigs contained. So now we're doing the exact opposite approach. We're keeping the pigs in a smaller area and bringing the food to them. Our hopes was we could have the whole property fenced in and they could be going around and foraging for these nuts on their own. Uh, but that not being the case, at least right now, uh, this is how we're still making use of the resources on our property to feed the pigs. Thank you all so much for watching. If it's your first time being with us, don't forget to subscribe so you can see the videos that come out every Friday. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you get notified by YouTube about those new videos. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.